Well, Chris Pincher is, of course, perhaps not a household name, but he is a key ally of Boris Johnson, and he was a key member of his government until yesterday, of course, when he dramatically quit as deputy chief whip. Now, that was because he was accused of groping two men, as you say, at a private members' club. Now, in his resignation letter, he said, Last night, I drank far too much. I've embarrassed myself and other people, which is the last thing I want to do. And for that, I apologise to you and to those concerned. Now, Mr Pincher was only made Deputy Chief Whip in February, and some Tory MPs raised concerns about his behaviour at the time. Uh, but earlier today, Downing Street said that at the time, they said there was no reason to block him as there were no formal complaints. But this is the second time he has quit the Whip's office. In 2017, he stood down after he was accused of making an unwanted pass at another man. Uh, now, as you say, we've had uh, breaking news in the last five minutes. Boris Johnson has now agreed uh, the Conservative whip should be suspended from Chris Pincher while the MP is investigated by the Independent Complaints and Grievous Scheme. Yeah, and when, when you think about it, um, later, it feels like another day, another MP in disgrace, doesn't it? And the, and the list of allegations against Tory MPs is really piling up. Yes, uh, you may remember Neil Parrish. Now, he resigned as an MP after he was caught watching porn in the Commons. And in May this year, uh, we had the former Wakefield MP, Imran Khan, jailed for sexually assaulting a teenage boy. Now, that led to two by-elections, which, of course, the Conservative Party lost and may explain why initially Boris Johnson was keen to avoid another one. Uh, Labour today, though, uh, very strong on this. They said uh, the Tory party is mired in sleaze and scandal. And, of course, lots of Tory MPs were also calling uh, for him to go. Uh, Caroline Noakes and Karen Bra Bradley both sent a letter to the Prime Minister asking for a policy of zero tolerance. Perhaps tonight he is finally listening. Well, thank you for that update on the breaking news. Leila Hayes, uh, live from Westminster, good to talk to you.